So popular watch YouTuber Bark and Jack thinks that Omega is not a luxury watch brand. A couple of weeks ago during my moon swatch video, I made the comment that I didn't think Omega was a luxury watch brand. Well, I strongly disagree with that statement and today I'm going to be explaining what I believe to be luxury and therefore why Omega is luxury. So let's jump into it. Now before I go fully into the video, if you take just a moment to subscribe to the channel, it would really help me out as I'm only 5 subscribers away from 1000. Now let's do my wristwatch check and my drinks check. So my drinks check is actually this very cheap pre-mixed old fashioned whiskey. So this is a um, combination of Earl Grey, whiskey and bitters. No more information than that, it's 27% and it suggests to have it over ice. So. I've poured some over ice and let's take a sip. Okay, you get a tinge of whiskey, but not much. It's very sweet, very palatable. Doesn't really taste alcoholic at all. Wow, that's really good actually. This is £5.15, by the way, in Aldi. Yeah, I really like that. That's really easy to drink. That is going to get someone messed up because 27% and it's just super drinkable. Really deadly stuff. And for my wristwatch check, I'm wearing my Omega Seamaster 300M black on black with the black rubber strap. I really like it on sunny days like this because it just sort of shines with the sun. As I say that, the sun just goes behind a cloud. But yeah, it's a really lovely watch and I think it looks great on the rubber strap. So now let's jump into the video. Now I can't say why I don't agree with Bark and Jack without first saying what I think a luxury is because it's such a subjective topic and I think it's something that changes over time as you go through your watch collecting journey. For me personally, luxury when I first got into watch collecting was my Casio Marlin. I really loved that watch. It was decently built, it could keep time well and it had a nice bezel and that's all I needed for luxury. And although at the time I would consider that to be a really nice watch, now i would not consider that to be luxury and i would say it's a great watch but it's not luxury and as i went through my watch collecting journey the, my opinions on what is luxury and what isn't wasn't really defined by the price it was more the build quality there were watches where they were over a thousand pounds but they weren't as well built as watches that were six seven hundred pounds so luxury for me hasn't really been around a certain price it's more the build quality and the brands you're buying with. So a Mido, for example, is gonna be more luxurious in my eyes than a Casio. But you know, that's something that's very subjective. But the reason I consider Omega and near enough all their watches to be a luxurious watch is because of their history, their quality, and I hate to say it, but their popularity, because they are really, really good watches. They are made with just incredible precision and they are built to last. Now, if you go to basically anyone, you know, even on the street, they will know who Omega is. And if they don't, they'll know who Rolex is and then they'll probably be reminded about who Omega is. For me personally, I can't really say that one is more luxurious than the other because Rolex has got, it's got the popularity, there's no doubt about it. But Omega's got the build quality and it's what you sort of deem luxury in your own view. Now, Bark and Jack saying Omega is just flat out not luxurious, just, it factually just can't be right. There are some watches Omega makes which just rival the absolute pinnacle of watchmaking. I mean, there's watches they make like the Tourbillon, which are just absolutely fantastic watches that are better built than some Pateks. There's just no way you can say they're not luxurious. And to say that almost makes people feel devalued. They may have worked so hard in their life to get their Omega and enjoy it and then they see some video online say, saying that their watch is basically just you know a nice watch it's not luxurious they want to feel like that they have something that's special that they've earned that and saying that it's just straight out not a luxury brand it just it's just a horrible thing to say really it's why I'm not going to ever say that like all Casios are bad or all um whatever brand is bad there's no way i'm going to say like hublot is bad I, I just can't say that when i haven't had enough experience with them and they make such a plethora of watches i can't just do a broad statement and say their entire brand is bad that's going to be my opinion on it it's really really basic and i understand a lot of people will probably agree with him and some people may agree with me 
I really hope you enjoy this video. It's super short, super to the point. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please leave a like and a comment saying so. Until this video though, goodbye.